happy day, I'm glad! <laughs> and today we are playing one of the most anticipated games of 2018. This is Sally Face Episode 4. If you've never seen Sally Face before, please go watch the old ones, because this game is sick. You're this cute little guy, but a dog rips off your face, so you gotta wear a mask. The place that you move into, the Addison Apartments, is incredibly haunted. There's a lot of just weird, dark, mysterious stuff going on. There's a lot of dark forces at play, and uh, hopefully things will end up good. But uh, so far, it hasn't been very good. So I'm gonna go change into my safari shirt. And we're gonna get this party started. Let's go! Yeah! Oh! It appears that I'm revisiting the Addison Apartments right now. I'm older, and I've got my guitar in hand. Oh. Maybe there's some flashback memories. I appear to be covered in blood. Hopefully I didn't do the bad things and got framed for them, but like this looks a little bit incriminating. And the cops are rolling up. Did I get framed? I don't know. 3.33 in the morning. Not a very good time, but I'm awake. I'm awake already. Okay. Even my alarm seems haunted. Everything about these apartments are very, very haunted. I see a bunch of uh, pills everywhere that I can't interact with. It, things have really uh, taken a turn. Things have really taken a turn in here. Oh. So I thought this was my bedroom. This is not actually my bedroom. This is Mrs. Packerton, the lunch lady's room, her little dungeon. In this freezer down here, she keeps body parts that she makes into lunch meat and serves to the children at the school. This is a nice little uh, painting of her farm. And uh, this is uh, the place where, you know, the kind of furnace oven-y thing that she uses to uh, cook people. So I'm gonna exit. And it appears that I've exited into a hazy, hazy dream. Hello, Beezlebub. Are, are you good? Who are you? Lord Beezlebub! Whoa, really? So you're like, the devil or something? No, it's a nickname bestowed upon me by my kin. Mm. Family can be rough. <laughs> little bullying, huh? Just because you look like the devil, they call you the devil. Little sibling rivalry, I see. Indeed. Um, can I get into that door. Actually, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna check what's on the left of me first. I don't like how there's a six on that door. It's a little ominous. A little worrisome. Okay, I've entered door number one. Ah! 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 There was a knock at the door and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly, it forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything prisoner in my own mind. Ooh, I, don't, I don't like the sounds of that. I've done terrible things. Unforgivable things. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna walk away. Thank you for letting me know that. So, these eyes had to watch everything. Door number two, what do you got in store for me? I don't know why, but it feels like I gotta go right this time! What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turn into horrified screams. And then everything was black. Well, that's good to know. We will soon be gone. Oh, the sins will soon be gone. Will they be cleansed? Ah. Okay, so there's a little symbol here. It kind of looks like a backwards D and an F. Let's just go ahead and keep that in mind. In door number one, I only went to the left. I'm gonna go to the right. Okay, it's a similar symbol on this side. And door number three. What do you got for me? Okay, this one's a little bit, a little bit different. It's kind of like a lightning bolt and a star. Ah, trap and rot? I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost. Then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me and we were in love and everything was perfect until it all fell apart again. Now there is only pain. Are you sure? Everything falls apart. Okay, you're sure about that. I was just checking. I really wanna find a way to put all this together. What is it trying to say to me? It's locked. Door number four is locked. I'm just gonna try to crack this code real quick. Oh, there's no F here. Whoa, okay, door number five does not want me to go in there. That's not nice. Maybe we should take a look at these other symbols like that we've never seen, like this isn't there. This isn't there. Come on, bitch, let me in. I, I guess I'm gonna go in door six. Every time I try to go in door five, it screams at me, so. Once you go through that door, there's no going back. Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Good luck with your family. I really want to see what's in the fourth door. 
Ah! I have to think outside the box. Typical Sally face hitting us with just like, opening the game with just the hardest puzzle possible. This is obviously looks like a zero, it looks like a one, and this is like two lines, and this is three lines. I'm doing math, yeah! I had to like draw them all out, oh my goodness. This took me 40 minutes to figure out, but in each of these three rooms, there's a symbol, and every line in each symbol represents one. So you add those things together, and, and you gotta think outside the box a little bit, but we solved it, we're gonna check what is inside door number four. I'm really glad we did this, because I did not want to skip it. I'm going in. Oh. Her soul was corrupted by the dark, by hunger, by isolation. She suffered greatly. Who could this be? Is this my mom? Is this Ash, my friend who betrayed me? Who is this? Through our union, we have saved her. We are endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is, was, and ever will be. No, 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 I'm not walking away. I gotta, I gotta go see her again. We are infinite and everlasting. We are the void. I worked real hard to get in here, girl. It's the same thing. And there's a camera on her, did you see that? She's crouched in kind of a fetal position, burning in flames, and there's a camera on her. It's just, th this whole thing, it's just very unsettling. And there's some numbers here that I'm gonna write down, you know what, just in case. Door five, you still wanna let me in? Nope, okay. All right, now that we found out what's in door number four, I'm just gonna talk to myself about it. So. A lot of stuff about sin, a lot of stuff about suffering, some very dark themes. And now that I've entered door six, I cannot turn back. Oh, let's turn this on. Put in the lost tape. What are we gonna see? Ah, hello? Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I, I can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washed over me. Then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead? Um, so there's a lot of random VCRs here that I'm just clicking through. They don't appear to have anything. Maybe I can like watch my favorite tape lost again. I'm gonna do it once more just to make sure. Ah, okay, I thought it was empty now. It was so scary. And this must be my room. Huh, where's my cell phone? Well, there's the charger. I gotta find my cell, I guess. Basement. <gasps> oh. Gizmo's poop. Where is my little cat, Gizmo? Hey, Gizmo! How you doing? Dude, really? Where do you keep getting these stickers? <coughs> it's not an answer, Gizmo. Ah. We just updated the lock and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. Okay, I don't know. I, 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 can't, I can't solve another puzzle right now. Let's go check the right side of the house. I am curious as to how my dad's been doing. He did have a bit of a drinking problem before. And now all there is here is boxes. Like, do I live on my own now? Upstairs. This is much nicer than it used to be. Hey. Neil. Morning, Sally. -o. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. Almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> yeah. You feeling all right, man? You seem out of it. Nightmare's keeping me up. Sorry to hear that. Could be stress. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed out too. Anything you want to talk about? No, you're right. It's probably just stress. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. You should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks, maybe I will. No problem, sally -o. Well, at least I've got a nice, cool new roommate. Ah, Neil loves this stuff, but I hate the taste. No thanks. I guess I was just saying that, like, I'll drink the coffee just to appease him. But I really don't want any. It's so bright outside. I don't know if I'm ready to go out there yet. Where the heck is my cell phone? Did someone take it? Neil, buddy, have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. Almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. Must have been a long night. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Thank you. Where's Todd? He has class this morning. Oh, right. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's been slow, huh? 
You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I'm two years older than y'all, too. No, I know, it's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that the lovely Ash was coming to town today. Ash? You mean the girl... Who betrayed me, Ash? The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. Hmm. I don't know how much time has passed between now and the trial. Like, is this before? Is this after? It could be the case right now that I'm recounting my story to the trial still. So I'm just kind of like going through exactly what happened. So that's a no on the excitement then? No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs calling your name. Sally Face, come get some! I've been meaning to ask, did you hear those strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't like that. It was kind of like a... Ugh, never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Oh, shoot! Work! I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. I gotta run, sally -o. Catch you later. Alright. Well, now I can snoop your room now that you're gone. There's a note from Todd to me. Sal, here is the new code. Oh, okay, I can get into that gosh darn bar now. Great. So now we're heading to the basement. I'm gonna say hi to Gizmo and then open up this here barn door. Hi, Gizmo. <coughs> a note from Todd with a new code for the shed. It was a good idea to keep it locked up. Don't want to get robbed. 4035364 It's crazy, crazy long code. Ah, I see we're still trying to get to the bottom of everything crazy that's been going on in our town. I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less it all makes sense. I can't believe I've been playing this game for two years and I can't wait to see what happens. Is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they all? It was so cool of Rob to give us funds for the new equipment. When he found out what we were up to, he basically thought we were real life ghost nabbers. Nabbers? He's nabbing ghosts all over the place. Huh? What's this loose tape? Uh-oh. Oh no. The first one was called Lost. It was the lady. This one's called Phantom. Hey. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom. Just out of reach. Or... Perhaps I'm the Phantom, and he resides in the land of the living? I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Yikes! She can't remember anything. She's scared. She's lost. She thinks that she saw a Phantom. She thinks that this man has some sort of significance, but he's not listening to her. Maybe I can find out who this guy is? We get up to some pretty inappropriate stuff. <laughs> but it's fine. Hopefully Ash is coming soon. I do miss her. I kind of feel like me and Ash had like a little thing going on. Oh, I should check my phone. Looks like it's charged now. There's a message from Larry. <gasps> Larry. I'm gonna use it. Are you awake? Yeah, I am now. What's up? Something is wrong with the Addison apartments. Something is always wrong with those haunted apartments. What are you talking about now? I'm serious. I'm coming over. All right, give me a few minutes. Hey, text me when you're ready. I'm ready. On the way now. Oh, I'm so ready, Larry. Larry's here! My- Oh! No! Larry knocking at the door reminded me of the trial. Okay, so I was just recalling, you know, the good old days. Alright, so this is the prosecutor. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. That is true. So, you admit to lying in your original statements. Yes. I was in shock from what had happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. And it's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe it or not, well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? No! 
It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knockville, and that all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were just some elaborate cover-up? Created by who? The county police department? Eh, it's looking kind of bad for old Sal. I didn't know that there was, uh, that much evidence. If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically, in order to prevent details from being taken out of context. Well, more so than they've already been. I'll allow it. Please continue your testimony, Mr. Fisher, but realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered, then proceed. Ah, <sighs> okay, well, it all started, <laughs> you know, back over, uh... I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong! Okay, so maybe th this was before Larry disappeared, Ash betrayed me, and, uh, good old Todd went crazy. So we're gonna see how we got to this point. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. The Super Gear Boy is like what we use to detect ghosts. It's kind of cute. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. Huh, that is a little odd. Though who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some ish. I can feel it! Huh. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything's foggy and there's something there, just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes, exactly! Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartment, so are you gonna come check it out or what? <sighs> of course I will, Larry. Inviting me to an adventure with ghosts that are missing? Let's go! Should we get Todd? He has class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping he'd have a new gadget or something. He's been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. So, are you all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'll be nice to finally get out of that basement. Oh, so maybe the empty room is for, uh, Larry. Sweet! Yeah. Well, let's go. Or do you want to go- do you want to come in the house first? No? Alright. Hey, Sal. Yeah? What if everything is too broken to fix? Like, why are we the only ones doing anything about any of this? I think everyone else just chooses to ignore the fact that everything is so broken, you know? How can they? I don't get it. How are other people so happy? Why can't we be like that? Maybe it's because we actually give a shit. Or maybe it's because we can't ignore how messed up things are around here. I guess. I don't know, dude. Come on, Larry. Keep your chin up. We're gonna solve it, or are we? We'll see. Knockful Homes. Oh, some roadkill on the road there. Just ignore that. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. I, I promise it's not haunted. Oh, the Never Oak Cemetery. How nice. I read it as Never Croak Cemetery, and I was like, oh wow. We never die in this town. Phelps Ministry? God sees all? Well, hopefully. <laughs> that church is pretty high up on the hill. I don't know if it can see all the way down here to these Addison apartments. Looks like you were right about that storm. All right, let's do this. Right behind you. Oof, I haven't been in these apartments for a while and I'm nervous. Mr. Addison's been storing stuff in here for so long, I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest is like old clothes, old tea sets, cooking books. Just a bunch of old junk. Larry. What? You snooped through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. It's a little suspicious there, Larry, but I'll let it pass for now. Let it slide. Next time you plan on doing some nosing around, make sure you let me know. Okay, Larry? It's kind of sus. <laughs> Will do. Idiot, you're gonna, ugh, you're gonna get me in trouble. Mr. Addison. Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us, and I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of that basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. 
I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. Well, I'm excited for you both, you know. Uh, I wish you guys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. You still there, Terrence? Hello again, young sis. Hello. Uh, hey. Uh, okay. Yeah, my bad. All right, uh, talk to you later. Yeah, that was awkward. I shouldn't have done that. Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? That creepy old lady who, like, just disappeared? Addison still thinks that she's on vacation or something and that she'll come back. No, I, I'm, I saw how that went down. I don't think she's coming back. And I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right. I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them, or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. I think she was a witch. I think she was a demon, or I think she was an alien. I think she was a demon. Really? But she looked so human. Maybe it was a spell or some kind of trick. I'm not sure. How else would she have disappeared like she did? If she died, she didn't leave behind a body. I don't know, dude, but if she was a demon or part demon, then I'm glad she's gone. I don't think she was evil. Just different. You can say that again. Are you getting any hits on the Super Gear Boy in here? Nothing. Are you even using it, Larry? Like, come on. Oh, Mrs. Gibson's place. She she really likes me. Yeah! What do you want, Sal? Ugh, why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson, we were, uh... Well, that's par for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge, holy. All right, um, let's go to the basement first. Make our way up, you know? Come on, Larry, you have to be getting Gear Boy hits. It's a bathroom for crying out loud. There's gotta be some kind of creepy little ghost living in this toilet, Larry. What is this? Huh? What is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it here. What if we need it for something? What could we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is my friend Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockville, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. I'll take teeth with my bare hand if I want to. Any other teeth in here? Ooh, the hatch door. I must have dropped the keys somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere, Larry. Stop losing everything! That hatch is really important. Well, there's not a ghost problem, but there's still a slime problem. All right, Larry, I'm gonna check your house just because I want to say hi to... Your cute old mom. It's weird to be leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time, so I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. I know I'm not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's just keep looking around. All right. Why is it that when I move out, the ghosts move out? Like, that's a little bit unfair. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> you were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then, once I told you it was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. You know, whenever people see me without this mask, usually they scream. You're a good friend, Larry. I checked the old treehouse. Just gonna do a really clean sweep of everything. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh... I, I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. Uh... It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to. Right? Oh, boy. I can either lie to him or tell the truth about his dad. I'm gonna tell him the truth. Look. It's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but... I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. WHAT?! I'm not sure if it's really him or not, that's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and to not tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. Larry's kind of speechless right now. If it is your father, then... I... Well, I don't think he's 100% human, but the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try to stop the cult to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. 
What? He crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. <laughs> he was with his sister, Evelyn, but she died in the crash and got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Aren't you gonna say anything about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry. I swear. All right, dude. It's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Uh, I shouldn't have told him the truth. Okay, but we're gonna talk more about this later. I'm not making this up. Hmm. Don't be mad at me, Larry. I'm sorry. Hopefully you still want to move in with me. Oh, jeez. Not good at all. And my story didn't seem too believable. It's just a dash of Scientology in that story. Second floor. These apartments are so abandoned now. Hey, what's this? A pocket knife. Score. Nice, that could come in handy. Heck yeah, it could. Did you see on the news that they said Charlie was gonna be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the cult probably has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Uh, as much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault, we couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. There's gotta be a bathroom ghost, like really? No bathroom ghosts? Is this Sally face or what is this? Ooh, Todd's parents' place. It's locked. Ah, the parents' room is locked. Todd's old room. Oh. Oh, I see. Little uh, growing operation in here. Hey guys! Larry, are you back for more already? Oh, Larry. No, oh, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. I don't know how enough of that wacky tobacco. <laughs> hey, Mr. Morrison. Sal, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? It's a bit much. <laughs> That's great. Isn't it though? It's a thing of true beauty. How did you get all this stuff anyway? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> but really, this isn't exactly legal per se, so I'd appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. And of course, I'd be happy to supply you with some produce whenever you'd like. Your secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I have a pocket knife that I just found, by the way. I know, Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts like a <laughs> grow up. Aw, how cute. He's lucky to have such loving parents. And such good friends. I'm damn proud of all you boys, damn proud. Well, thanks, Ray. One day, we'll all return to the stars. Totally, yeah. Oh, come on, Sal, let's get out of here. Yeah, I agree. Oh, how you doing, Janice? Sally Face and Larry Bear, this is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey. What brings you two here? Um, uh, just saying hi. Hello! <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. You good, Janice? Jeez. Did those boys just go into the bathroom together? <laughs> oh, jeez. Greg, are you here? Hello? I'm not getting anything from the Super Gear Boy either. Oh, where's Greg? Where's my friends? Where's my ghost friends? What is this? Another tooth? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something. This tooth is awful brown though, holy. It has an N carved into it. The tooth I found on the second floor, it's all burned up. Well, I guess we just gotta keep it moving. And just one more word from our sponsor. <laughs> Great, Packerton's old place. Ugh, the memories. Those baloney memories. Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Ugh. Come on, there's gotta be something in the bathroom. Oh god, I can't! Okay, well, I guess I'll take a look by myself. Does anyone ever flush their toilets in this building? Bloodstain. Getting any readings on the gear boy here? Nope, even your little goat buddy is hiding. What? I don't know how much longer I can be in Packerton's apartment, it's too creepy. Life support equipment? Ugh. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Still though, that demise was nasty. Huh, there's a tear in the carpet. I can't pull it up by hand though. Well, I have a pocket knife. What is this? Uh, I need a code. What about the code I wrote down in the beginning? Three, four, two, six, nine, seven. Come on, let me in. What? All right, well, I don't know the code to this yet. 
I should have known those guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place out overnight with just the two of them. So after everything went down in here, her place, all the evidence, two people came in and got rid of all of it. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight, because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them going to the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now, and they've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing though, meetings and whatnot. Could be nothing, or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. We went to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up hidden cameras and audio recorders up there just to check it out. Cool, I'm down for some good B plus E. What is that? Breaking and entering. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Yes. All right, third floor. Chug's place. Hey, guys. Did Chug get a girlfriend and have a kid? Already? Hi, Sal. Oh, uh, hey, Larry. Why does nobody like Larry? Sally Foss. It's Sally Face, kid. Sally Foss. You two look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see some things stay the same. Oh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you. Now, would it? I suppose not. Oh, well, how are you two? We're good, you know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah, how have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a while. I've been okay, keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out. They left a few months ago, too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us some privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me, I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course. Oh, thank God she's, she wasn't asking me. The guy named Chug named his kids Soda. Just passing it down, just letting it trickle down throughout the generations. So, did you notice anything weird, guys? Nope. It's been nice and ghost-free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. Yeah, I hope so. See ya. Love the little eyes on that thing. Man, Chug, you got right to it. <gasps> 304 and the door's kind of open a crack. And... Another two. The tooth will set you free. Dude, no. There's an S in this one. Four out of five. Well, I'm just gonna find all of these teeth and make a nice little necklace out of them and wear them and be happy that there's no more ghosts jumping on the bed in this apartment. David. Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What are you up to? Hey, David. We're just checking in with everyone. How are things going? Aw, uh, it's awfully kind of you, but I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah isn't feeling well, you see? So I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thank you. Thanks, you and both. You're welcome. Now, <laughs> David is dating a doll. Oh my god, look at that picture on the top. That actually is his wife. Okay. So, hopefully... Hopefully the doll didn't catch the cold. CJ's place. The frat place. <gasps> Yo, what up, guys? Yo! Hey, CJ. Are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You, sh you should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. Great. Got any teeth? No? All right. Well, I mean, if we don't find any ghosts, at least we have plans tonight. Fourth floor. We're almost there. Ooh, okay. I hate this room. Oh! Mr. Sanderson! Mrs. Sanderson, uh, died. She was murdered, and this is her husband. Oh, sorry, we didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockville tonight. I just, I, I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you, uh, this may sound odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. We have seen her or we haven't seen her. I mean, I haven't seen her today, but I do kind of want to keep his hopes up. I'm just going to say I have. Oh dear, I was afraid of this. How is my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here, but we haven't seen her for a little while. My poor Sandy, she didn't deserve this. What is it that you were afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what, exactly? Um, uh, never mind. I'm just upset, that's all. Would you boys do me a favor and give me a moment to load here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson, that's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. We should let Herman be alone. The poor dude's a wreck. Do you think the council will let him leave Knockville? I hope so, man. Hasn't he been through enough? 
Yeah, but if he was involved with the cult before his wife died, and then tried to get out like we think he did, I'm sure they're keeping an eye on him. What if he disappears too? You're probably right. But they've been quiet for so long now, maybe they aren't operating anymore or whatever. Nah, they're probably laying low. Waiting for the right moment. Maybe. Either way, we'll find them. Ooh, these rooms upstairs are so creepy. <gasps> a tape. There's a tape here, but it's broken. Pocket knife? Oh, I fixed it! Bridge. I missed a tape. This one is called Bridge. Why? Why won't you answer me every passing moment just silently staring down upon me with no remorse? They're gathering as we speak, and they mean to open a vortex, perhaps into this world. A bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there is anyone behind that lens, or just a corpse decaying at the helm, my pleas for help infinitely echoing into the vast emptiness of death. Oh wow, it's like she's trapped in a room with a camera. <gasps> Remember when we opened door number four? And there was a girl who was like, in the fetal position and there was a camera on her. Is this that girl? Oh, jeez. But I mean, if all three of us are down, I'm down. I don't really care what people would say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure if you'd be into the idea. We should probably revisit the conversation again later. My mind's a little fuzzy right now. You glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? Huh, thank goodness. I thought it was a bug because I did not know what was going on in that conversation. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but I'm still trying to piece it together. It is weird how there's a video camera in here, too. And there's- oh, maybe the camera from here is in there now. Dad and Lisa. Sorry, I'm like silent because I'm in disbelief right now. My dad is dating Larry's mom. Yikers. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> Sal. We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on. What do you say, boys? Lisa's gonna show me the secret to making her lasagna. Mmm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I, I have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message you or whatever you kids do once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. Right, right, the, that. Sounds good. Larry, are you okay with this? Maybe we should go over here and talk about it. Our parents are dating. Was this your idea? Thought I, I, I may have left a flower or two by your dad's bed. Ooh, what are you doing by my dad's bed? I told you not to snoop. I, I, I don't know. Has my dad gotten his life together? It looks like it. This used to be like beer can central. Well, that's really something. Hey, hey, there's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunt? Uh... It's dead around here. None of the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We aren't sure yet, but we're looking into it. I see. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Anything at all? Well, I got this weird lump on my left butt cheek, if you guys could take a look. Whoa, I don't know if we're really qualified for that, Robert. Keep me posted, fellas. I will. <sighs> Top floor. The scary, scary floor. Keep her out for teeth, Larry. Hey, a tape. Give me that. Hunger. Whoa, she does not look good. Hunger has been tearing my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing, nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Oh, well, that was a really cute home movie. I'm really glad we had that experience. Larry, you didn't come in with me. My dad used to stay in this room before him and my mom got together. Really? That was before it got all flooded up here or whatever happened. What was your dad doing in the most haunted room in this entire place? Oh jeez, I don't like this bathroom with the fingerprints on it. Megan? Hello? Are you with us, Megan? 
Where's my favorite little ghost? Nothing on the super gear boy. Hey, where did her necklace go? Huh? I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. Where's the necklace? What about the rest of them? I don't know. Megan! Oh, jeez. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear, boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. I don't want Megan to be alone. She's like a cute little girl. Eh, it's the hole. Hello? Ah, a noose. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean, and I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up! Jeez, Larry, stop scaring me! If demons are real and souls are real, do you think there are angels too? Like, heaven and hell? God and the devil? Is all of it real? I hope so. I go back and forth on all of that, but I hope there is something good out there, something better than us. I never used to believe in anything supernatural before, but now with everything we've seen, I'm not so sure what I believe in. I've always had the feeling that there's something bigger going on. I just never really knew what it was or what that meant. I still don't. I wonder how the demon was able to possess Luke, even after he died. I guess uh, we'll figure out another day. No teeth, huh? I only have one more to find. All right, other side, Larry. We can do this. Two more doors to go. Ew, old birdcage. Huh. What? Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the birdcage. I never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it. Almost like something had tried to open it. Hmm. I need a screwdriver or something to open this. Surely the pocket knife will do. I need two more teeth. I just don't know where to find those other teeth. Holy sh pickle! Ah! You've made a mistake. What the hell, man? Can I have two of your teeth? The end will be us all. The end will be us all? What are you talking about? You can't be staying in here. The darkness binds. Ah. Dude, scared the shit out of me. I've caught that bum sleeping up here before too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. Then how'd he disappear? I got one. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Where could the second tooth be? It must be downstairs, eh? I'm gonna go back to the first floor and just comb through again. There it is. Got it. What, no stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any to tell you the tooth. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Larry. I hate you so much, but I also love you. All right, we have the teeth we need to find the tooth. And we're gonna do that, aren't we, Larry? Larry! Larry! Come with me, please. You're scaring the crap out of me, Larry. Come on. Northeast. Oh, easy. So the black tooth goes in the middle. And it's just never eat soggy wieners. So easy compared to the other puzzles. What? Okay, I got cocky. Oh, it's upside down! Because the Made in China sticker is upside down. Okay, got it. Ah! I did it! Whoa! A key. I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just- Wait, where the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just like slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web. Huh? what? Never mind. we've got the key now. Let's go check out the temple. All right, I'm going to end here, guys. I've been playing for a while now. I, I, I have to end here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna play the entire thing in one sitting and I wanna make it bite-sized for you. Thank you so much, Steve Gabry, for giving me this game early. I, I love this game. I Thank you for putting me in like the notes at the end of the episodes. Like It just feels really nice to be part of such an incredible game and I cannot wait to play the rest. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because you know I, I, I don't really ask for a thumbs up very much anymore. So if you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot to me if you did. And also, I do have merchandise. I know I've mentioned it before, but I'm really proud of it. Please go to gloom.store to purchase my merchandise. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Happy day, I'm Gloom! Oh. <laughs> oh.
my god. We have to use that. What? The mic isn't even here. 